Hi, this is Kevin for Pixivert.com. I'm working with GIMP 2.8 and I want to have a look at the single window mode. I am working in single windows mode, but I've also arranged for this uh, little window here with the layers and the channels and the other dialogues, the other commonly used dialogues. And uh, what I'm going to be doing in this particular video is looking at a feature that's found in the color menu. Now, in the colors menu, there's the components submenu and the decompose option and that's the one that I'm going to be using. I'm going to right click anywhere inside the image or on the canvas and I'm going to go to colors and I'm going to choose components and I'm going to click on the little dotted line there and that brings up a little window and I'm going to move that little window to the side and I'm going to work with it in the bottom right hand corner there. Next I'm going to highlight the layer with my original copy and we're going to make a duplicate of that image and we're going to work on the duplicate. I'm going to rename this um, RGB and going to my tear away menu I'm going to hit decompose. That brings up a little dialog and I'm going to choose RGB and make sure decompose to layers is ticked. Hit OK and we get this new image here. Now to work on this I'm going to switch off the red and the green layers and I'm going to work on the blue. In the colors menu I'm going to choose brightness and contrast and what I want to do is just take down the brightness a couple of uh, notches and take down the contrast a couple of notches as well. Having done that I'm going to go to the green and what we'll do there is bring up the curves dialog and I just want to add a little bit of contrast and maybe just shift the white point a little bit and that's done we'll hit OK. Finally with the red I'm going to choose brightness and contrast again and I'm going to increase the brightness and the contrast just a little bit. And I'm going to hit OK and next we're going to go down to the menu and choose recompose and that finishes very quickly. I'm going to go back to the original image now and we can see the edit that we've just done. We can compare that with the original as you can see it's a pretty nifty edit. What I'm going to do now is to make another copy of the original and again we'll take that to the top and I'm going to call this copy LAB or LAB and once again we'll go down to the menu and choose decompose we're going to choose lab for the color mode and decompose to layers and now I'm going to switch off the L layer and also switch off the A layer we're going to work on the B layer I'm going to bring up the brightness and contrast and I'm just going to increase the contrast a little bit and we'll do the same for the A layer so that's the two color layers out of the way we're now going to work on the L layer which uh, holds the luminance data I'm going to choose colors and choose brightness and contrast and I'm just going to increase the contrast a little bit and next I'm going to go again to colors and choose curves and just increase the brightness just a tiny amount and I also want to work with sharpness on this layer in the filters enhance menu I'm going to choose the unsharp mask and I'm going to increase the radius to about 1.5 I'm going to work with the amount at about 1.15 and that will give us a tiny amount of sharpening. It will be noticeable. It also increases the amount of noise in the image there. I would normally deal with the noise before dealing with the sharpening. However, this is the release candidate version of GIMP and I don't have any plugins installed. I would normally use one of GIMP's really cool noise reduction plugins to remove noise. I'm going to hit recompose and again we can see the result there. That's the lab mode edit and we can compare that with the original and we can also compare it with the RGB edit okay next I'm going to make another copy of the original and we'll take that to the top again and this time I'm going to call that CMYK and we're going to work in CMYK mode so we'll go to decompose choose CMYK hit OK and this time I want to work just on the blacks which are right at the bottom I'm going to bring up the curves dialog and I'm just going to take the blacks down quite a lot hit OK and turn these on and down to recompose and this time this is the result of the CMYK edit so we're going to now compare it with the other edits that's the LAB, that's the RGB and that's the original so that's a few cool edits in GIMP using decompose and the single window mode